For sale today, I have a 1993 Land Rover Defender 90 with the 200 TDI turbo diesel. This is a right-hand drive UK import. It is now located here in Michigan with a clean Michigan title. Now, some of you may have seen my other listings or some of my other videos and wondered why I sell the same vehicle, but all at different price points. Well, basically, a fully restored Defender is going to fetch a higher price than a project Defender. Now this is definitely not a project. Uh, it runs and drives great and it's very clean and it looks great, uh, but it has not been fully restored. So this is gonna fall somewhere in the middle price range and I will show you why. Right off the bat, let me show you the blemishes on the vehicle. It does have a new paint job uh, and some of it has flaked off. Uh, you can see the original color is a little bit darker. It's called Arliss Blue and they painted a lighter blue on top of it. Uh, at least they did not paint red on top of blue, which would have been a nightmare. But anyways, uh, it does have a few paint chips. Uh, the bottom of the door has corrosion on the driver's side. Passenger side is, is great. Uh, this one does have a little bit of rust in the corner and the bottom of the frame. Uh, bulkhead on this side is great. There's no rust coming through. Uh, there is a little bit of corrosion on the hinges and a little bit of rust coming through on the footwells on the top here, but the bottom and sides in front of the footwells are all in decent shape. So we do have a little bit more paint chip on the top of the wheel arches here. There's no corrosion on this capping. It's all nice and clean. A little paint chip and corrosion here at the bottom of the door handle. A little bit more on the corners here where the steel and aluminum come together. Underneath the reverse light here. Cross member is in great shape. New carpet, new benches in the back. We do have a little bit of rust on the top of this capping. frame has had a nice fresh coat of rust proofing and we do have a new exhaust system front to back. This door like I said is in great shape minus the dent. No rust at all so I believe this is an aftermarket door or a replacement. This side of the bulkhead does have a little bit of rust popping through in the back side. Nothing too serious though. Hood's in great shape, nice and glossy. No scratches or dents. Uh, we do have a brand new set of tires and a set of Defender five spoke aluminum alloys. The engine is nice and clean. And I don't know if you know this, but a 200 TDI block should be gold. If you've never seen a gold 200 TDI block, it's because it's covered in oil. This one is not. So let me start it up for you. Now the odometer does say 31,000 miles. Um, that is not accurate. Uh, I believe the odometer is replaced at 65,000, give or take. So I would say this vehicle has just under 100,000 miles on it. And I do have paperwork to prove that. Glow plug light comes on. Voltage meter comes on. Radio comes on. And it starts up real easy. Okay, next 
I just want to show the underside of the vehicle. We'll start here at the front with the swivels. And they actually look fairly clean. I have not wiped these down to make them look clean. That's just how clean they are. So the seals are holding the oil in and they look pretty decent. Underside of the engine looks nice and clean. There's the timing belt cover. The frame rails on the driver's side look really good. And you can tell when people are trying to hide rust, they'll just be gobs and gobs of this wax oil on here. But this actually looks like a pretty thin, even coat. And it's not really hiding anything, it's just protecting. Uh, it looks like this is right where they cut and welded a new cross member. Um, so that looks like it's been done in the past few years, which is a huge job that you don't have to do. Now we do have a couple welds on the passenger side. You can see one right here. And you can also see that the hoist is right on that weld. So you know it's gotta be a nice strong weld if it's holding up the weight of the vehicle. And we do have another patch right here. And that looks to be it for patches on the frame. You can still see factory seams right there. The center cross member is not all dinged up so that's a good sign usually if they're abused off-road these things will smash into rocks and logs and whatever and get all banged up but this one's nice and clean rear drive shaft and it looks like we got rear disc brakes new muffler and again here's the rear cross member no rust, no holes, and it looks like it's in all around good shape. So, there it is.